street of New York. Friday. So I currently just purchased a new part for my commensal cloche. So this basically sits right behind your, your sprocket and it acts as a chain guide and a bash guard. The company that makes it is Four Years. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I gave him my best shot. I think I picked it up on Amazon for like $47, probably like 50 bucks after taxes and everything. So it kills two birds with one stone. It kind of holds my chain in place and it's a bash guard. I actually used to run one of these on my Giant Glory downhill bike. On my Giant Glory, I had a derailleur with a clutch and I had the chain guide slash bash guard and I love that setup. I think it was it was one of the best drivetrain setups I've had. So I kind of want to mimic that and get it to how it was set up on my on my Glory. In order to take off the, the cranks, you need this special tool. It's made by Park Tool, and the tool number is BBT 10.2. And it's pretty crazy because it's like a specific tool that fits right in there perfectly. So once you got the bolts loosened up, there's this little hook on the end of it that you just lift up. This little plastic thing. Stick that in, and you unscrew. I actually haven't washed my bike since my fall so it's been like well over a month since this thing has been washed so this is perfect because it's going to give me the opportunity to clean this up grease it and then reinstall it just want to make sure these parts are nice and fresh look at how much gunk builds up That's clean enough for me. This right here, I want to definitely clean. I think we're good on cleaning. I'm gonna dry fit the bash guard before I tighten everything. I wanna just get it snug in place with the bolts. And then once I've got everything aligned and I'm happy, then I'll tighten everything down. So I got all three bolts in. I still have some play room, so I can adjust it when I run the chain through and get it all dialed.
it looks aggressive like it just looks beefed up i'm happy with it this is how i clean the excess grease i just stick a favorite towel or a rag and then i hold it as i turn And that's basically it. But I think it came out so sick. Everything's tight. All gears work. I am so stoked on how this came out. There you have it. We got it all set up. It's dialed. All the gears work. It honestly feels like really durable material. So I'm curious to see how it performs out on the trail. Once we get this thing off and we're able to ride, I definitely don't want to hold back. I want to kind of see how good this chain guide slash bash guard will perform. When I had this set up on my Glory, I was in love. I never had any chain issues or anything like that. And the bash guard adds some extra protection in case you're hitting rocks or whatever. So I think having one of these is super beneficial. Quality, I would probably rate it a 10 out of 10. And price, fairly priced I would honestly say because I've looked at other bash guards and they're anywhere from like 100 and up. And this one was like 50 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out. On a completely different note, my cast is coming off on Tuesday, March 1st, which is next week, like in four days, I wanna say. So I'm really stoked on that. It's been feeling so good, man. Like I've been doing a lot of exercises, kind of moving my fingers, keeping everything kind of functional. I'm excited to see what the doctor says and then get some x-rays and see how we're, uh, how we're looking underneath. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's gonna wrap up this video, but I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.